Unsurprisingly, Graham Pollock was chosen as the South African cricketer of the 20th century. I grew up listening to my father's stories of Graham Pollock. I used to hear this big heavy bat and just, you know, carving bowlers around. Any side that came to South Africa, he murdered. Any time he went away from South Africa, he murdered them. Few players took greater toll of an ordinary attack. Few players handled a very good attack so well. A majestic left-hander that could destroy bowling attacks. Elegant, tall, and he didn't use his feet a lot. He would play from one position and then rock forward or back. He would bat long. I mean, he didn't give his wicket away, ever. Never, ever. In Chapel talks about the innings he played against the Australians in Australia, and all the Englishmen talk about his 120 odd at Trent Bridge in 1965. I just found him to be a wonderful man as years have gone on, you know, um, just a really nice guy, humble. I was lucky enough once to spend some time with Sir Donald Bradman, and I said to Bradman, What do you think, you know, how do you rate Pollock and Richards? And he said, if they had been allowed full test match careers, he thought that Barry Richards and Graham Pollock would have been the greatest right-handed and left-handed batsmen who ever lived. The guys who played against him and with him you know, speak incredibly about the likes of Graham. You know, great person that people really feared bowling to. Got to know him well uh, and certainly a big Hall of Famer.